City Beats. My name is Katu. Um, growing up, I've been like always loving entertainment. Me and my brothers used to do dance performances all the time. I uh, would dance over Christmas, I would dance to Beyonce, Michael Jackson. I even been to interviews and people are like, what does catadiosis mean? It doesn't mean anything, honestly. It was just a fun, random name we came up with the first time I told my friends, I think I want to be a DJ. So they're like, oh, what do we do? Hmm, Katu. Uh, first it was cocodiosis. I was like, okay, that's a bit too crazy. And then I put Katu because I'm Katu. Yeah. And yeah, you can express yourself the way you want, you know. So basically music has always been part of my life. It's just the DJ thing like came also as a surprise to me, but um, I embraced it easily because it was still part of entertainment. It is still entertainment because when you're dancing, you're entertaining. I just loved making people happy with my moves and you know my tracks, whatever we would sing. Um, growing up, music was like a form of expression, you know, when I would dance, I would express my feelings through my dance, you know, I would do like um, emotional dances or like fun dances if I was happy. Um, I loved drama also while I was in high school, I was working with Youth Alive. Um, yeah, so being an introvert is not easy in the music industry, but you can you can maneuver because when it's time for you to express yourself, you're using the music, you know, so you don't exactly have to deal with people. People have to um, get your message through your expression, you know, how you express yourself with your music, even when you're DJing, the selection of beats that you pick, you know, when people dance to it, it's because they are enjoying the vibe. It's mostly like a vibe with entertainment. Where do I start? <laughs> For nursery, I went to um, a little school that was just behind our house in Chireka. I think it was called Chireka Infant. Yeah, I was there from like baby class to top. And then I went for P1 to P7 at St. Matia Mulumba. It's also in Chireka. Um, in primary, I was uh, a sports prefect. <laughs> I actually enjoyed playing netball. Yeah, that was the game. I was part of the netball team. So high school, I went to Seta High School, main campus for S1 to S4. Um, I majored in literature, which I also love. Like literature is also like expression, you know. You, you read people's stories, you see uh, their stories, you get to also live your own story or like understand society through those stories. O level, I was always performing. I used to dance a lot. And then, um, yeah, it was just books and dancing. And then A level, I went for, I went to Bishop Cipriano, a very nice school next to the Luzira prisons. Um, and I was there for all of my HSC. <laughs> and then for university, I went to Makere. Um, I was there for four years doing journalism. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I have a lot of DJ friends, first of all. I'm not saying they're the ones that influenced me, but they made it easy. They, they made me see the possibilities and the depth uh, with which you could go as a DJ. For the very first time, I got into the idea of mixing music, mixing tracks, was uh, actually when I got introduced to Adobe Audition in class <laughs> um, at campus. Because <clears throat> um, when I learned it, I was taught Adobe Audition so I could edit stories, vocals for stories. So when I learned Adobe Audition, I started playing around with tracks, like fading into tracks and like picking maybe songs I liked from mixes. I would listen to DJ mixes. Um, when I started listening to house music, I was introduced to house music actually by like um, an old friend. Um, and I was like, what kind of music is this? Like electronic music, it's dope. I'm like, whoa, okay. And that sounded really nice and you could play around with the beats. So I started playing around with Adobe Audition doing that. Like I would make my mixes using Adobe Audition. So I went on Virtual DJ, played around with it. Um, and then my friends, Derek, <laughs> Derek and Alan, they organized Nyege Nyege. At that time, they were doing a lot of parties, you know, that was like Matatu parties. They would do like, they would, because uh, they had the dream of, Nyege, of the dream of what Nyege Nyege is now, like bringing together um, local artists and international artists to collaborate. And so they like suggested for me to do a gig once. Oh, I asked them, could I do a gig? So I went to just kicking with my laptop, no controller whatsoever, and I just played. It, it didn't sound the best. I remember, I remember Dark Mem was there, and was like, oh, you have nice music, but you need to learn how to cue. <laughs> um, and oh, so I, I, I took it as a compliment, but also a challenge. And over time, yeah, people started to notice my passion for it because I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed working with the crowd, but most of the time the crowd were friends. So it was like an experiment, you know, and they always give back so much love when you're uh, playing. Um, so it made it easy for me to enter the DJ scene. Now it's uh, easier now, I'm using the S4 now, but when I started it was just the virtual DJ. Four years down the road, I'm Katudiosis, <laughs> doing gigs every now and then, yeah. First and foremost, it's important for a DJ to enjoy their own music. Because if you select music that you enjoy, it's easier to, to pass on that vibe. The last, time, the last gig I did was actually really nice. Because uh, um, how it worked with Mirembe Rhythm was that they had a theme of solidarity, peace, love and unity. So they, they included like three women on the lineup. There was me, Rachel, and Sarah. Um, then they included also a local DJ, Caesar, and artists from, from uh, Boutique Electronic, Akuna Kulala. So it was like all these different people coming together to play music, to introduce their genre of music with the aim of like having, you know, a peaceful coexistence. I know this is now like becoming a song, like there's not enough women in music, so it, it was nice that um, they just let me come in, in in a nice way like that, like it's fine, and we, hopefully we'll have more girls come up because there's a big gap, gender gap in the music industry. Being an, an underdeveloped country compared to the developed countries, our artists here are not exposed to like the best equipment you know, not exposed to like the best 
working environment compared to the other artists from like developed countries. Um, local clubs here don't have good equipment either. Like you go to play at a club, they don't have CDJs. You know, like it's it's hard to be competitive when you have to work with things like that, you know. But the other thing I should mention about the gap in the music industry is internet. Like, as a young person discovering music, like I said, as a DJ, you have to be updated and all. And, like, it still goes back to our country not being um, there yet, but we are getting there. Um, internet can help young artists get a lot of connections with the outside world, you know, um, get a lot of music meet, see a lot of different other artists, get inspiration, you know. I played it Nyege Nyege this year. <laughs> uh, that's incredible. I've, um, I've played in Zanzibar, I've played in Nairobi. Um, I have I have met a lot of beautiful producers and DJs. I have opened for Mina and Bright from the UK. Uh, they were here and they are very uh, amazing artists. I opened for them after Nyege Nyege. I played uh, at Mirembe Rhythm for uh, Mina, I mean, uh, before Sarah Farina and Jovan Lenz, who are very awesome artists from Germany as well. Like, through the music, I've met amazing people. They've added inspiration in my life. They have shown me it's fine. I've seen them do it well. So why can't I like also push myself and see how far I can go with it, you know? I'm probably going to do um, a Euro tour next year if all goes well. So, like, the music has taken me by surprise, even, it surprises me. I enjoy fashion, so I might get involved with a friend in fashion. My hammock business is still running as well. So I'm basically living my life in all the ways that I, I've wanted to live them, in all the ways that I have defined my life as an adult now, you know? <laughs> People don't know some of the shit I go through, <laughs> like sometimes with the equipment that is, you know, I could be DJing and I'm dealing with, you know, a bouncer acting funny on the other side, or I could be DJing and I'm dealing with my laptop almost, and I'm like, please don't black out, I'm playing, I'm like, don't black out, and then I get done with my hour and I survive. I, <laughs> some of my friends call me survivor. They're like, if I start production, I should call myself survivor. Being a woman could become a challenge itself because you have to deal with like annoying guys who are part of the organization. Sometimes you have to like, if you don't have a good understanding with the person hiring you, you know, you might have to chase after your payment, you know. I have um, learned so much how to be humble with, with equipment and like techniques and learning things, you know. It's, it's, just, it's just a beautiful experience for me, you know, because in the beginning, it was like, I even had a few people like laughing at me, like, why are you DJing, you know, making fun of me? Like, what are you doing there? Like, why? Like, who DJs anymore, you know? And now the same people as, uh, are like, well, congrats, congrats.
Oh my god, I'm so inspired by Fire LaBeouf. She's actually a lawyer, but also a DJ. You know, like, you could have the best of both worlds. You don't have to, like, just sit on everything. You never know where your passion will take you. So I've learned a lot over the uh, past few years that I've been DJing, but I really have an interest in production, and I've already started, like, learning some things on Ableton and... Yeah, just playing around with samples. I have a podcast that will be coming up soon. Um, yeah, and on the podcast I'll have, I'll be putting up mixes, hopefully on like a weekly basis or whenever I practice. Um, or whenever I have a gig, I'll put up a mix through the podcast. I have a SoundCloud account as well. It's Katudiosis with K, not with C. And then on Mixcloud, you can find me on Katu DJ. Facebook, Katu Diosis. Katu, C-A-T-U, and then Diosis. And Instagram is just Katu Diosis, one word. I would just love to encourage young people to express themselves more. City Beats.